Yeah, so I um, working for somebody else. Just uh, you know, you're you're burning the midnight oil, like you said. You are you're constantly on somebody else's schedule. You do not control your own destiny, and uh, at least at the place that I was, uh, where I was working. Um, you're at the mercy of the partners and what they decide is best. And so no matter how hard you worked, no matter how much business I brought in uh, to the company or developed, I was still paid the same and it felt like that everybody else was still making, making more money, at least the partners. And that's the way they ran that firm and I understand that. But I, I basically was up for uh, getting a promotion in my mind, uh, like I think young, uh, driven, um, people are that are working for other people. They're very driven and um, I made a request for a certain amount of money in a certain position and uh, they said no. And for me that was my answer. I, I didn't need to hear anything else. I wanted to control my own destiny. I wanted to build a firm that didn't say no and a firm that was going to be different, that didn't require all the hours, that didn't uh, bill by the hour, that was project based, that was fixed price, that um, someone, if they wanted to, could create their own destiny and live out their own destiny within the boundaries of that company. And that's when I started my own accounting firm. I mean, where it's had the most significant impact as far as having people be able to really um, see the opportunity inside what we're doing is at Croft and Frost right now. Um, at the very beginning of starting a business, you're trying everything that you possibly can. You are, I, w I wasn't guided by the mentors that I have now. I didn't have the business coaches that I have now. And so at the very beginning, there was a lot of tripping over yourself. There was a lot of fumbling around. It was, I didn't really create that space that I wanted to. I mean, after about four or five years of um, running the accounting firm as J.D. Frost and Company, I... I basically recreated the firm that I came from because that's all I knew. I never got an outside perspective. I never received any business coaching that would create that new type of firm that I was trying to create, that new business that I was trying to create. And so when I went to 10X, when I went to GrowthCon, which is the one um, that was out in Vegas, I was sitting in the top, top row and I was sitting there going, wow, there is this whole nother world of entrepreneurs and um, I was very motivated and inspired to create the firm that I had envisioned when I first started the company. And so that has allowed me to now work with my partner Paul Croft and our whole team to create a space where we have a CPA that has started her own bookkeeping company while she's still working with us. and. And she's running that bookkeeping company, doing 1099s, bookkeeping, payroll, tax returns, payroll. And, and she's been able to live out her dream in starting a company. I would have loved to have been a part of a company where I could have started my own inside of that at the same time. It's just unheard of.